Brightstorm has thousands of high-quality videos covering all major subjects. Please check out more at www.brightstorm.com. I want to talk about average velocity. Let's start by doing an, an example. A pumpkin is catapulted into the air. Time t is in seconds, and the height of the pumpkin, f of t, is in feet. And it's given by values on this table. I've got values for t equals one, uh, 0 to 8. Now I want to calculate some changes in position. And get used to this symbol in calculus. The delta means change in. So delta position means change in position over the interval from 0 to 1. So the change in position from, uh, on the interval from 0 to 1 would be f of 1 minus f of 0. Now f of 1 is 118. f of 0 is 4. And so I'd get 114. But remember, the units are feet. So this would be in feet. So that means that the pumpkin uh, over that first second increases in height 114 feet. Now let's look at the interval from 1 to 4. The change in position is f of 4 minus f of 1. Always remember it's final position minus initial position when you're calculating the change in position. f of 4 is 268. And again, f of 1 is 118. So you just subtract. And you get 150 feet. And finally, from 4 to 6, you get f of 6 minus f of 4. f of 6, 208. That's the final position. Minus the initial position, f of 4, 268. And you get negative 60. Now what does that mean? That means that over this interval from t equals 4 to t equals 6, the pumpkin has dropped 60 feet. So what does this have to do with average velocity? Average velocity over an interval from a to b is defined as the change in position divided by the change in time. And so what we were calculating just now were changes in position. If you divide that by the change in time, the length of the uh, interval, you get the average velocity. Let's uh, compute some uh, average velocities. First, for uh, the interval from 1 to 4, we would have average velocity is f of 4 minus f of 1 over 4 minus 1. Now, we already calculated f of 4 minus f of 1. It's back here. 150 feet. So this would be, on top, 150 feet and on bottom, 3 seconds. So this is going to be 50 feet per second. OK, and then how about on the interval from 5 to 7? Average velocity is f of 7. Remember, final position minus initial, minus f of 5 over 7 minus 5. f of 7, going back to the table, is 130. F of 5, 254. So we have 130 minus 254 over 7 minus, actually that, I'll just write 2. 7 minus 5 is 2. Now this numerator, 130 minus 254 is negative 124. And that's in feet over 2 seconds. And that's going to give me minus. 62 feet per second. Now what does it mean that the average velocity is negative? It just means that the pumpkin is probably on its way down on this interval of time. So average velocity is change in position over change in time. And remember, change in position is final position minus initial position. And by two. I can't do this with you two laughing back there. <laughs> so if we had no, that's not right. Three coplanar points. So have you ever gotten off an airplane? <laughs> that should be... Less than. Yeah. yeah. Dang. Is it like 500 degrees in here or what? All right, so when you're in chemistry class, you're going to be doing a lot of work. You're going to be bleh, starting over. So as an example, we could consider like you've got a chain hanging from two, um, two fix. Yeah. <laughs>